All right, today we're going to be digging into a carburetor on a 2005 KTM 50 motorcycle. I've got the entire throttle assembly off at this point, uh, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble the throttle cable out of the throttle housing, as well as the throttle cable out of the carburetor, so you can do whatever's easiest for you to remove this carburetor completely. First thing you're going to do is to remove the, the throttle cable out of the, the throttle housing is you're gonna, there are two uh, Allen bolts here, the four millimeter Allens. To remove these, you just loosen this up. And again, this is obviously gonna be on the motorcycle at this point. But just to keep things simple, I wanna take everything off. You go ahead and pull that cover off there, and then you have your throttle tube sticking out right here. Now the next thing, I like to twist it, and then you can take and you want to get to your throttle cable into that groove there. So you can just take and kind of just pull on it there and it'll pull right out of that throttle tube. And then you're able to set that throttle tube aside and you can take uh, the, there's the, the nut fell out of the, uh, So now what you can do, you take and pull this cap up and you'll be able to see your throttle cable right there. You line up these grooves here and you're able just to slide that throttle cable out of this housing and your, your housing is now off and your cable is now out. So I'm going to set that aside there. Now we're going to go through this carburetor. And now that we have the cable unhooked from the throttle housing, we're able to keep it on the bench a little bit easier. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you how to pull the throttle cable out of the actual slide here. So you've got on this, this carburetor, you've got flat screws on this top cap and it is spring loaded. So take, and I like to take my two fingers here and hold on this cap to make sure that it doesn't go flying off. More than likely it's not going to go flying far because you've got that cable hooked up to it. but just want to make sure that all those pieces are held together. The pieces don't go flying out of there. So flat screwdriver, take these two screws out, set them aside here, and then you can take and slide that uh, cap. Everything comes off. So you've got your slide, you've got your needle here, you've got a plastic uh, bushing here, you've got your spring, and then your cap here. So when I'm taking the throttle cable out, since it's unhooked from the throttle housing, up top there, your, your twist throttle, you're gonna have a whole lot of slack here. If it was still hooked up to the throttle housing, this spring would be, would be loaded and it'd be a little more of a challenge to get this off. I'm gonna show you how I do it if that throttle housing is still attached. I take, uh, put that cable run through my middle fingers here and I take and I just kinda of pull that cable up like this. Keep that bushing attached to the, um, to the spring there. And then what you can do next is take that cable then and pinch it and you can push it out and you can see what happens here is there's two grooves in here for your throttle cable and you wanna slide that out the larger groove. So now we've got that out, I can take and release that spring, release that cable and um, set that aside. If you are wanting to uh, remove that cable, if you're replacing that cable, you just gotta take it out of that bushing there and it will slide up out of that spring and out of this cap here. You just have to unscrew it. So I'm going to set that aside now. This needle here on this slide is adjustable. So I believe there's five different settings, four different settings. And uh, right now it's, it's the second uh, groove from the top here. But you can adjust that depending on what's done to the motorcycle, what needs done uh, for re uh, resizing that or adjusting that slide there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this choke assembly off here. Take a wrench and it's a brass fitting. Just go ahead and unscrew that. And this is your choke here. And the way that you pull this choke here, you just pull it up and then you can do a, a little bit of a turn there. That's gonna hold it in the choke position. You wanna make sure that that holds uh, that cap up. You wanna make sure that that springs back down when you release it. You wanna make sure that that plunger doesn't have any debris. Also want to look in that port there, make sure it's all clean, make sure there's nothing holding it up. To adjust the idle, it's this screw right here. A lot of times you can use your fingers to adjust it. 
Screwing it in is going to raise your idle up, screwing it out, so counterclockwise is gonna lower your idle. When that slide is in there, you can see when, when you turn this idle adjust in, when you turn it clockwise, it's gonna push that slide, gonna lift that needle up a little bit, uh, and that is raising the idle. You wanna adjust that when you are uh, completely warmed up, the bike is completely warmed up, and uh, gonna be in the riding conditions that you're gonna ride in for, uh, for the day. So. Uh, we got your air fuel mixture screw here, and that is spring loaded. The way you set that is completely seat it, which means you completely turn it all the way in clockwise till it, till it touches, and then you pull it out the amount of turns that your manual says. Typically, it's about one and a half, uh, depending on, again, what's done to your motorcycle. So to remove it, then, we're going to set it back to factory settings. So right now, all we're going to do is take and remove it. I'm going to show you the internals. On this and you've got a spring in there this is the the screw there you got a spring and sometimes there's a washer in there I don't think on this model there is so you want to make sure that, that spring goes in there properly you can take we're gonna leave this out for now while we finish cleaning this carburetor um, now we've got four flat screws on this bottom bowl here Go ahead and remove these at that time. And this is typically where you have your issues if your bike's hard to start or not starting um, at all, or if you are revving it up and you um, it's not completely revving up or it's bogging down. Nine times out of 10, your carburetor in this area has issues. So, or if you've put performance stuff on the bike, performance parts, intake, um, anything, uh, carburetor, uh, exhaust, anything at all you want to re replace uh, these jets in here. So got the bottom bowl off there. You want to make sure that that's cleaned out. You can use carbon choke cleaner. I prefer this gum out brand. It works really well. Uh, you can got a tube on there. You can blow through all the different ports. Now we've got your main jet. Your main jet is going to sit right in the middle here. And flat screwdriver to remove that. Then you've got kind of a brass plate on the bottom there. And you wanna sit so it's in this position, you wanna sit like it's a bowl, okay? So the lip is gonna be facing up. Got your main jet holder here, you can unscrew that. You've got your secondary main jet, which is this one. And this is gonna be a little bit smaller uh, port than your, than your main jet. Go ahead and remove that with a flat, flat screwdriver as well. And all of these uh, jets, you want to make sure you can see through them when you hold them up to light. Make sure uh, that you can blow through them with compressed air and carbon choke cleaner. And then you know that they are clean. Pilot jet is going to be right in between these uh, two main jets. It's a flat screwdriver as well. Go ahead and pull that. And this is the smallest orifice. If your bike is hard starting, a lot of times it's because of this pilot jet. Very, very small orifice on these. Again, blow through it with compressed air or carbon choke cleaner, make sure that that is completely cleaned out. Now you've got your float here and you've got a pin holding this float in there. And take a pick, something small, put it in there, slide that pin out. And we'll set that aside, then underneath there we have your needle and this is where your needle sits here, right on that groove there. So you wanna make sure that those ports are completely cleaned out. And then you can take a uh, carbon choke cleaner, blow through any of these ports. This is where your fuel comes in, obviously. And so um, that needle that sits right here, that's where your fuel's coming in at. So you wanna make sure that that's free. Make sure your main jet area is free, your secondary main your pilot jet, and then these ports as well. So make sure they're all cleaned out. I like to pull everything out, blow through it with carbon choke cleaner, blow through it with compressed air. Make sure all the ports are free and clear before going back together. Take compressed air then at that point and blow through it. And when you got all those ports free and clear, you can start going back together. We've got your pilot jet, again, right in the middle there. It's the smallest one. 
These are brass jets, so they don't take a whole lot to tighten up. You want to make sure you don't over tighten those. Again, make sure all these jets are cleaned out, ready to go back together. If you need specs on these, let me know. Uh, I'll, I can let you know what factory is. If you've got performance done to the motorcycle, uh, that would be something you'd want to talk to the manufacturer. At this point, I'm going to put the, the needle back on there, along with the float and the pin. Slide that needle right down into that seat there. And you want to make sure you don't get too hard on these posts here. They are aluminum and they can break very, very easily. If that pin is, if you're having a hard time getting that pin out or uh, getting it back in, I would um, find a different way rather than just beating on that pin or you're going to cause some damage. You're going to have to replace that carburetor then if you break those posts off. They're not replaceable. All right, we are ready to go back with our bowl then. Make sure that's cleaned out. You can take carbon choke cleaner and clean that out as well. Four flat screws to go back together here. fuel screw back in here. Screw, spring, washer, o-ring. Make sure they're all properly seated on there. And you can take and put that in at that time. So properly seat it. Half turn, one and a half. Again, typically it's about one and a half out. Choke, make sure that that's functioning properly. You can blow through that port with compressed air. Take your wrench, snug that back up. Now for our throttle cable. I'm actually going to, since we're not going back together on the bike yet, I'm actually gonna take and set this down into the slide here. The cable will kind of force you into the right position there. And then this will only slide down all the way in one position. This groove will go on this side. Idle adjust will be on this side here. And I just said that and I did it backwards. So you might have to slide it down into place there. Make sure your needle's going into the proper position. I still did it backwards. And check to make sure that that needle falls into place. And then slide that cap on there. Again, it is spring loaded, so keep your finger on there. Go ahead and tighten this up. Now that is a carburetor on a 2005 KTM two-stroke 50 motorcycle. If you've got questions or comments, make sure and leave those below. If this video has been helpful, uh, please like and share it. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see other videos on this machine. We've got a complete motor rebuild that we're gonna do as well as uh, disassembly and reassembly uh, of the motor into that motorcycle. So keep watching, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.